ready to do greetings i am getting ready to do my scorpio july the first through the 15th um make sure you check the description box out how to reach me to do your private readings uh thank you all for returning uh thank you for the comment views and likes to everybody on my youtube channel uh especially <clears throat> um we are going to see what is the overall energy around you, Scorpio, for the month, but well not the month, for the first couple of weeks in July, July the 1st through the 15th. Uh, it's a general reading. Uh, like I said, if it doesn't resonate, just leave it with the eye of raw. Don't take what don't belong to your narrative. Don't try to force it and make it fit. Only take what resonate with you, okay? Uh, just for the rising sun, moon, Venus, cross customers and cross watchers uh, so it's timeless it's fluid so whenever you get it you're meant to have it okay uh, let's see what's going on with you guys this energy overall for the first couple of weeks in July okay Ooh, my ring is getting trying to twirl around my little finger All right, Scorpio's in the house. The Scorpion. What is that? The Scorpion King. I need to. I need to pull that movie back up. The Scorpion King. I need to. I need to decode that movie again. I need. I need to really decode it. Like the Scorpion King. Right. All right, Spirit Source Energy. What do you have? For your Scorpios, what do you want to give them? What does their higher self want to tell them, need to tell them, been wanting to tell them, but they ain't been listening? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> y'all know how y'all do. Y'all be ignoring that intuition. So this is what your higher self want to tell you, Spirit Source Energy. Scorpio, July the 1st through the 15th, 2020, what would you like to say? What messages do you want Scorpio to know? Woo, release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy, baby. Say good the fuck bye. Okay, that's what they want to tell you. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Guess y'all heard that to let that joker go and your new love soulmate twin flame might differ, okay, from your usual type and expectations. You might say, I want him to have nice locks and he got a bald head. You might say, I want him to be tall and their ass might be short. I don't know. <laughs> Shit. It said it might differ from your usual <laughs> type and expectations. You might say, I want somebody chocolate and they ass might be another race. Hell, I don't know. Shit. That's what the damn car said. The car said, keep an open mind. Shit. That's all. That's it and that's all. It's on you. Mm. Okay. Where am I going to put these at? Whew. Let's see. Uh, let's get an animal token for you, Scorpio. See what kind of animal messages your higher self has for you in animal totems. What does your higher self, higher, highest self want you to know? What is the greatest message? The animal totem wants to relay to you. Y'all know I love my animal totems. Spirit source energy. What animal totem do you have for Scorpio? The first, too many. The first through the 15th of July. Hiptopotamus. Baby. The Hiptopotamus. All right. It says, friends stand close by to shield you from life's adversities. 
So your friends stand close by to shield you from life adversities, those hard times in life. If you got good friends, okay, they'll be there to thick and thin, right? If you got good friends. All right, Spirit Source Energy, what do you want your Scorpios to know July the 1st through the 15th? If y'all got Scorpio in y'all chart somewhere, Spirit Source Energy. If you got Scorpio in your chart, what would your, your higher self want you to know? Look at y'all. The death card. Ooh, baby. The death card. Yes. The death card. Ooh, Scorpio. You're showing up for your own reading. The knight of coins. Woo! All right, all right, all right. The Page of Cups. Okay. The King of Wands. Old, passionate, Mr. Lover Boy, Lover Girl. And the Five of Coins. Being left out in the cold, as you know. There's the World card underneath. Spirit Source Energy, what else do you have? Let me get that was a jumper. Ooh, five of wands, a lot of confliction, a lot of disagreements. All right, spirit source energy, what is going on? What is going on with you guys? All right, spirit source energy. Anything else? Ooh, I guess so. All right, you got the lovers and... The Eight of Wands. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Well. <sighs> All right, Scorpio. Let me get my cards out. Let me get my cards out here. You want to show up for your own reading. As usual, I love it when y'all do that. My, my Virgos do that a lot. There you are, Scorpio. The death card, okay? Uh, the serpent energy going through a major, major, major transformation, okay? Major transformation. Oh, let me take this off of me so y'all can see these cards. There you go. There you go. Now... There you go. There you go. Here. Uh, oh, my selenite is breaking up. Look at it. It's breaking up in my hand. Oh, uh, because I'm banging on cards with it. Let me put that down. That's delicate. Uh, let me go get my wand. That's more like it. All right, now, this here is Scorpio showing up for their own reading here with a death card, transformation, physical, spiritual transformation right here. This is the Knight of Coins, someone coming in uh, with a, uh, a proposal, a marriage or some type of commitment somebody wanting to bring you an offer okay that's going to transform your life okay they're bringing in something that's going to transform your life page of cups also coming in uh that's going to transform your life going to open up new opportunities uh for you for your dreams to come true this is your virgo capricorn energy this is your Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion energy. And this is your lover's card. You wanting a commitment. You wanting uh, a partnership with someone. Okay? This could be a younger person. Some type of uh, a passionate flame. You might be looking at marrying younger than yourself. This person could be younger than you. Okay? But however, it, it remains to be seen that these offers that you're going to be getting in are definitely going to be something uh worth taking a look at 
Okay, something that's going to, like I said, spiritually and uh, physically transform your life. Okay, this 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 offer could come from somebody that you do work with, possibly in the work environment, in your work, uh, on the job. Could be a supervisor, could be you know, or just another coworker. Okay, but you guys might have this secret affair going on uh, in the workplace, okay? Y'all have shared intimate nights together. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all have. Here is the king of wands here, down at the bottom, under the death, the transformation. This is the five of coins, just below the knight of coins, the offer. This is someone holding something a secret. Like I said, somebody could have had an affair in the workplace with a supervisor, okay? Because you have a younger page here, you have a knight here, and then you have a king here. So this is someone that could very well, you know, had an affair or is falling in love with someone that they work with in the workplace. Or you're going to be meeting your next lover in line with what you do. You know, for as business, for as uh, your job, your career, you know, or traveling for your career because you have money here. I mean, you have travel here with the cup energy. You have uh, movement, okay? Uh, you have a chance for uh, travel, communication and travel, okay? Someone coming in wanting to propose to you, emotionally attached to you, you know. Uh, and there's a lot of confusion, a five of wands energy here. This is a lot of disagreement and confusion and conflict and spying and competition around this, uh, this arrangement or around this, this page of pentacle, I mean this knight of coins and this page of uh, cups that's being offered to you. And it's done secretly. I don't know if somebody's getting harassed here or somebody's getting blackmailed. Possibly could be uh, the case that somebody's going to tell on somebody's life and it's going to cause a lot of disagreement and a lot of competition and fighting and spying. Uh, because this is a secret. If you're married, Scorpio, this involves you keeping a secret. Okay? Like... This is like, hush, don't tell money. Shh, don't say nothing. Be quiet, don't tell. So being offered from the king of pentacles, don't say anything about this love affair. Okay, because it could definitely transform your life and change your life, you know, physically and uh, spiritually. Because you could be looked up as uh, someone that's very... Uh, uh, like a leader in the community. This could be somebody that is able to overcome a lot of challenges, takes a lot of a uh, action, that's very protective uh, in the community or in the work uh, force, and that's somebody that has a lot of passion and creativity. And now uh, someone is trying to bribe or whatever they're trying to do, swindle, bribe, hush money, under the table money, or keep this secret, however you want to call it, uh, from getting out. Because if it get out, all hell's going to break loose. Five of, five of wands, disagreements, arguments uh, are going to break loose. A lot of competition, you know, a lot of conflict, inner conflict will break loose. Uh, and this energy is moving fast upward toward the lovers. Like this this eight of wands energy is this is taking off very fast like the communication is going back and forth very fast between these lovers somebody wants some money scorpio somebody wants some money oh we let's see what's going on let's see what's going on spirit source energy what is the what is the uh is somebody being harassed on a job? Is this a, a, a harassment or something? Because it has to do with work because of the pinnacles. 
Okay, there's a lot of passion. Okay, did somebody bribe somebody and getting a promotion? You know, because this here, the page comes with an offer for dreams and desires and opportunities. Well, this had to have been a, a promotion, what this conflict was about, that you got a promotion on the job versus someone else, and now somebody found out about the secret on the job, okay, in the work area. And now you're trying to double back with the Knight of Coins and offer, you know, a, a proposal to this person maybe. Maybe you're trying to marry the, the head boss or the head doctor or the head lawyer, whatever. Somebody that has some clout because it's the king of pentacles here. This is like the top of the line next to the emperor. You know, someone that's very passionate about their what they do. You know, could be a musician, could be an artist. Because cr creativity, the wands have to do with creativity and intuition. So somebody very psychic as well, you know, that has a lot of power also in the community that speaks with the spirits that can, can, uh, that can, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, talk to the ancestors, put it like that. Ooh, this is like a little triangle or something. Spirit source energy. What's the challenge here for Scorpio? Yeah, carrying that burden. Carrying that, that's too many. I won't take those. Carrying that burden. Let me see what those was. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Wow. I wasn't going to take those, but I'm going to show you what they were that hit on this, that hit on this king of wands. Queen of cups, the sun, the hangman, the soulmate, and the independence. Ooh, wow. Somebody messed over a fucking good thing. And I think they realized it now. They realized it now. That's what's so transformational about this. That's what's so, you know, transformational. That they realized that they messed over this this good opportunity and it's been it's been burdensome to them it's been it's been weighing it's been weighing heavily on them keeping this a secret mm, mm, mm. Woo wow ten of wands they're carrying a lot of burdens they're carrying a lot of uh accomplishments or they've gotten far in life with their passion and their creativity and they don't want to see it ruined. So this is burden. This is like they're carrying their own burdens about this whole situation here. Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit Search Energy for Scorpio? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Look at there. They want a new beginning. Ha! Huh? They want a new beginning. Wow. They want to offer this person a new beginning. Scorpio, you or your person want to offer this person a new beginning, a new cup of love. A new cup of love. Wow. Wow. Maybe the secret did get out. Maybe that's why the box. Maybe this is why the four of pentacles is open. Because the secret did get out of the box. About it. Mm. Well, looky, looky. Ain't that some cookies? The secret done came out, maybe. Or you're trying to, or you're being very protective because you're some king and you're trying to protect your, your finances from uh, this person and not letting this person know what you have. But you want to offer this person a new, uh, a new cup of love, a new opportunity, a new beginning with the Ace of Cups. Like you love this person. Y'all were lovers. You had wanted a long-term partnership with this person here. Uh... Scorpio, spirit source energy. Woo, 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 woo. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Tell us more about the Ace of Cups. Spirit source energy for Scorpio. Tell us more about the Ace of Cups. Tell us more about the Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Mm, mm, mm. I'll be John freaking Brown, baby. John freaking Brown, a king of fucking. Pentacles. This, 
y'all, ooh, this is like somebody really messing around with more than one person. King of Wands and a King of Pentacles. Mm, mm, mm. This person probably left this situation for a King of Pentacles. Dang. Why is the King of Pentacles here, Spirit Source Synergy? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Uh oh. Why is the King of Pentacles here? That card almost jumped out of my hand. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Tower moment. They fucking realize they fucked up. <laughs> oh, Lord. They fucking realize they messed up. Tower moment. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. they, lo they lost a good opportunity. And they realized they lost a good opportunity with someone very uh, passionate and loved them. And it's been transformational for them. Scorpio, for you or your person. What's the outcome, Spirit Source Energy? What's the outcome for Scorpio, July the 1st through the 15th? What's the outcome? Oh, Lord, let me turn this over. I don't have no nails. Ah, I thought I saw the emperor. Damn. What? Soulmate. What? Soulmate and the emperor. This person, this person here for Scorpio wants to regain their authority, their trust with you, Scorpio, or you with your person, Scorpio. You want to regain your trust as a leader somehow you've been knocked off your high horse with this tower moment this person moved on and got a king of pentacles or take took control over their life as the king of pentacles and now you want to come back in and you want to show them you can be the leader that they want this was your soulmate this was a soulmate for many lifetimes you wanted to build that ten of pentacles with this person and you came in very hot and passionate but then you left you didn't offer them this marriage proposal or this commitment. You just left. You kind of left them, you know, high and dry, basically. Maybe for another person, too. You could have left them for some other soulmate or some person that you thought, or maybe you was already married in a sense here. Okay. And you left them. But now you want to come back and take the throne back. You want to take the leadership back. You want to show them you can be a leader again, that you can, that you have self-control and power. Look at there. Ace of sword, communication. You want a new action. You want to take a new action toward this person, but I don't know. This King of Pentacles is offering this marriage. This King of Pentacles now is offering this marriage proposal. That's going to be quite hefty. Wow. Ooh, Scorpio, what y'all doing? Damn, what an outcome. What an outcome. Thought the green, this is somebody that thought the grass was greener on the other side. I'm, I'm clearly hearing this. Somebody thought the grass was greener on the other fucking side. And it proved to not be greener on the fucking other side. And now they want to come back and prove they can be a leader now. That they can be everything that you want now, Scorpio. Whether you're a Scorpio man or a woman. Or this is you and your person, Scorpio. What's the uh, advice for your synergy? That was a jumper. Ah, Ace of Pentacle. A new opportunity, a fresh new start. That's the advice. Three fucking aces came out. At least two, but then I saw that there's the Ace of Wand right there. I mean, Ace of Sword right there. So three aces. One, if you guys been seeing 11, 1, 11 a lot. Or 11 a lot. These Your ancestors are talking to you, so look up that number. Uh, 111 or 1111 or 11, which, which, which reduces to two. So if two is in your life path, you should know what twos mean. Twos mean tell the universe what you want. And when you tell the universe what you want and focus on what you want, you get it. 
That's what two two three two twos mean, like two twenty two. Focus and tell the universe what you want, so that you can have what you want. Okay, I'm not saying you're gonna get this lover back. But I'm saying you'll get a fresh new start because here's the Ace of Pentacles being offered to the Emperor as the advice, take the new beginning that's being offered to you. Okay, whatever that new beginning is, whatever this job, whatever this promotion, whatever this uh, uh, change in direction in careers or starting your own business, uh, going into business for yourself, uh, whatever this is, this Ace of Pentacles is about take it whatever this love this ace of cups is about take it you know it's it's gonna it's going to uh revitalize your life ten of pentacles it's going to help you to build uh generational wealth okay Ooh, what else what other advice spirit sources besides the ace of pentacles for scorpio july the first through the 15th tell us more tell us more tell us some more Woo, baby, look at these, almost want to come upside down, ah, third party, I knew it, I told y'all, I told y'all that's what this shit was, I told you that's what this shit was, it was a fucking third party, I knew it, it had the fucking feel of it, it had the feel of it, I knew it, fucking third party, this person now wants to say goodbye to this third party situation that they got caught in, look at that, the fool card because they had a lack of fucking direction and what they wanted and what they were looking for they had a lack of direction they felt left out in the cold look left out in the dark their money went down they didn't feel they had enough money to provide for you right to take care of you right then look page of wands they wasn't able to travel and move around freely as they wanted to they were kind of stuck in one spot and look, they world had been turned up fucking side down because of it. I knew this shit was a third party. I knew it. It was distance. It was a job. It was like another person or this person was married and they couldn't. But now they've been thinking. And like I said, they want to come back and prove that they can be the emperor. They want to come back and prove to you they can be the emperor that you want now. Because you moved the fuck on. And you fucking got, look, you bossed the fuck up. You bossed up like a fucking king up in this bitch. And they like, what the fuck? I let that fucking shit go? Look, aha moment. Knocked off the fucking high horse. Lightning fucking strikes. And they fucking realize what the fuck they, they, they walked away from. What the fuck they left. What the fuck they played with. Right? You play with fucking fire, you get burned. You play with the scorpion. What? That stinger will get you. The stinger will get you. Damn. Damn. They, wow. Third party. And all of my cards are upright. Look at that. They fucking turned around themselves. I love it when the ancestors do that shit because I know my shit be all upright. And when they go and turn some, flip some shit around... Oh, they really want your ass to know that. They really like, uh-uh, this, this joker messed up. This motherfucker right here messed up. I say that with love, so don't get offended. That's just a figure of speech. <laughs> but I say this with love. This motherfucker fucked up. <laughs> oh, shit. They let a good goddamn thing go, baby, off of a third party. And they are in all kind of inner conflict. They world is fucking, look, the world is fucking turned into fucking chaos. They got to complete a karmic cycle. They got to complete a karmic cycle some kind of way. Because their world is turned upside down now because of this shit. And, and the only way they're going to, the only fucking way that this is going to be fixed is they got to bring some balance to this situation. They got to balance this, this, this five of pinnacle energy, this lack of energy, this lack of direction, this lack of finance. They got to balance that shit out. They got to fucking figure the shit out. They need, like, they, shit. Ah. Ah. They're in a karmic cycle here. That shit ain't complete either. Look at the world upside down. Because the end of a cycle is the world up. The world card came in reverse. 
So your person or whoever this person is, Scorpio, around y'all, they, they or whoever, or it might be you, I don't know, Scorpio, woman, or man, but y'all got to still complete something. And you're going to have a time that you got to complete this. Else you're going to be caught up in this fucking loop, this, this, uh, this karmic cycle again. In the next, in the next beginning, in the next, uh, uh, new beginning, right? You're going to be caught up in the same fucking cycle if you don't get a sense of direction, because this is a lack of direction with the fool's fool card. This is you not beginning. You didn't end something that you were supposed to end. And guess what? You're caught in a fucking lack of direction. You're, you, you can't begin that new beginning. They want to give it to you. Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles right here. They want to give it to you. Or this is you wanting to get it. This is you wanting to work hard for it. But the universe is like, no. No. Because you have to fucking balance out this situation. This is a five of, pen a five of pentacle. This is some fucking imbalanced shit right here. That's got to be fucking fixed. Before your world gets back in order. Before things start turning around for you, you got to fucking balance that shit out. Ooh, baby. And that's that fucking aha motherfucking moment for your ass, baby. That there is the goddamn tower moment. That motherfucker right there can do some. It's a good thing, though. Tower moments are not always bad. Tower moments are actually good moments. They are sudden unforeseen changes that fucking get us going in the goddamn right direction, that's why we fucking say they're bad. Because we don't be wanting to fucking change. And that tower moment go, cow, that lightning, and knock your ass off the goddamn tower. And then you be like, what the fuck? I fell and bumped my head. Yeah, wake the fuck up. That's that moment. <laughs> Woo, that's that moment, baby. <laughs> that's that come to bejeebus moment y'all be talking about. Come to Bejeebus. Bejeebus. Come to Bejeebus now. That's that moment, baby. That lightning go cow and light up that darkness your ass was in. That blindness, right? That mental blindness. That mental darkness. Wandering around in the motherfucking dark. That's what that shit is. And now this person, Scorpio, this person or your person is not in the fucking dark no more. They, they are... Phew. Now they see... I fucking knew this was a third party. I knew this was a fucking third party. Oh, I want to find out something about this emperor. Spirit source energy. What are the intentions of the emperor? Spirit source energy. What are the intentions? Look at there. Tap. The intentions of the emperor to keep quiet, to keep secret, to keep the secret. They still don't want to tell it. They still don't want to come clean. They're still holding on to a secret. They, this is the Four of Pentacles twice. So your emperor's intentions is still to, be, to maintain this secret. Whatever they're hiding, they're not going to come fucking clean. So, I mean, this is like a no-go fucking, you know, relationship. Because if this person ain't going to tell you the truth, then why the fuck would you take this person back? Okay. This person is not going to tell you the truth and be honest with the truth. Then it's, it's no relationship. There's no trust here. There's nothing to build on. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. 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 Hold on. Well, hold on, y'all. Oh, God. This is, uh, your person doesn't want the secret out. Still wants to maintain whatever life, uh, whatever they were hiding, they still want to, they still want that secret. They still want to hold on to whatever that is. You know, that's important to them. It could be you. It, it very well could be you, Scorpio. It could be your person. It could be the, this, whoever this, this lover is. 
this secret lover, okay, you know, they want to have their cake pie and eat it too, shit, the way I see it, you know, they don't care if the whole fucking world crumble down around them, they still want to continue on in secret and, and have this loving relationship with you. This is what that person, can y'all see that? This is what that person want. They still want to be your secret lover, regardless. Re fucking garless, because they fucking world got fucking turned upside fucking down. And they're left out in the fucking cold. Lack of direction. Can't have a fucking new, where's my, where's my food card at? Where's my damn food card at? Can't have the new beginning that they want. Their world is upside down. They don't. Their 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 finances are are going upside down, and they fucking got a tower moment on fucking top of it, and they got all this stress. Okay, so this somebody that if y'all got a uh, Scorpio in y'all chart, this somebody around y'all or this y'all, I don't know, but this is definitely a fucking third party that fucking ended, and it it, it wasn't it uh somebody put an end to it. And went after the king of the pinnacle, and they put they put their life back together. Whoever this person was took control of their life back together from somebody that was an emperor that they gave their power to, and then they fucking took their power back. And when they took their power back, baby, the fucking world came down. The fucking sky came down. I guess it, <laughs> and it came down like fast, like grease lightning. God damn it. <laughs> Grease motherfucking lightning. Y'all better stop putting motherfuckers in these goddamn third party situations, baby. Because when you come back around, them motherfuckers may not be available for your ass. The, you know, they may not even take you back. You know, putting people in third party situations, lying and cheating and, and sleeping around or whether it's distance or whatever. Don't have people waiting forever because people may not take your ass back. You know, you're going to be left out in the damn cold like the five of pentacles. Like that Five of Pentacles card. Well, if y'all want a private reading, hit your girl up. You want to go d dive deeper into it. Or if you got any uh, questions of your own that you would like to know and have some answers or guidance to, uh, solutions to, hit your girl up. You know what I say, peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you're going to have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony, Scorpio.